Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this eShine ROTG02 5.8 GHz 150 channel diversity audio FPV receiver for Android devices supplied courtesy of banggood.com for review a little while back I reviewed this ROTG01 and now Banggood have sent me the ROTG02 to review. So let's see what the difference is. It comes nicely packaged in this little aluminium box casing. Comes with a USB cable. Here's the ROTG02 unit itself. Get another USB cable. And we get two RPSMA antennas. So this comes in black and white. We look at the difference between these two. This unit's slightly larger. Not by very much though, but this takes two antennas. Now it says it's a diversity, but it's not a true diversity because it's two antennas that connect onto a single receiver and not two separate receivers. But basically, an antenna has been added to provide more stable signal. It has an added button here to make it more convenient to adjust the channel and this is also to increase the function of the channel waveform display and this also adds audio playback. Now this is a great bit of kit if you out in the field and you have a problem with your FPV equipment you can still connect up to FPV using a mobile phone or tablet. You can give this to friends or family to plug into their phone to watch FPV2 when you're flying. And you can even use it as a VTX transmitter to put onto VR glasses, to improvise goggles if you wish. They are purchasing goggles first. Now the big question I got asked about the ROTG01 was what is the range? Now the range does depend on the environment and the type of mobile phone or mobile device that you use. But it'll be interesting now to see if there'll be any improvements in range and signal between these two. So I will do a range test comparing the two of these. Now we get two USB cables that come with this. One is a mini USB connection and the other is for a micro USB. And the important thing is that you must plug the correct end into the receiver. So the one that has the arrow on gets plugged into the receiver itself. And the other end gets plugged into your mobile device. And the app you need to download. You can download it from Banggood site or go straight to the Google Play Store and download Go FPV. As we can see here, it says open Go FPV when this USB device is connected by default. So we go yes and go OK. And here we are in the app. Now, the important thing is not all Android phones and devices are compatible with this. And you do need to make sure that you have UVC drivers. So... Here's where you can download the app on the Banggood site. Here's a list of phones that do support this. And 
You can also check if your phone does support UVC by downloading this too, and I'll put a link in the description of these as well. And if you're an Apple iPhone user, there is a device that with a single antenna available for iPhones, and I'll put a link in the description for that too. And now we've got the app here. Click on the arrow here. There's camera up there. Go OK. And now it appears up in two screens. You can also press here and go on to a single screen. And then we need to press the button on the right here. It's going to search and look for the strongest signal and the channel so you can see the progression here and there so far it's picked up the strongest signal strength there and voila we connected and we have FPV If you want to record video, you just press here, get permissions, allow, and you can record video straight onto your mobile device. And then if you want to transfer it to a computer or another device, the file is located on your mobile device in a folder called Movies and in a subfolder called FPV. And if you want to use this in VR glasses, you can have a dual screen too. This really is a great bit of FPV kit to have. And for the price, it really is very reasonable for around $20. Okay, so I've got the ROTG02 diversity receiver. I'm going to do a range test now and see how far we can go and what sort of range we can get. The quadcopter I'm using um, gives me the distance and the height, etc. So let's get ready to go. Okay, I'm going to take it up to a height of 10 meters. Okay, at a height of 10 meters. Back over here. And let's go. Okay, so we can see FPV on the screen. Distance of 20 meters. Field is 325 meters. Just get the distance to update. Take that a little bit higher as well. Okay, I'm at 105 meters. Let's carry on. Oops, let's see it. A little bit of interference now at 120 meters. Just go a bit forward.
213 meters. Now it's not looking too good. There's 213 meters. A little bit further. And right up. There is 237 meters. The pictures are good. So I'm going to say distance of 200. 30 meters. Bring the pot from the back. So 230 meters is not too bad. Quite a fair distance.